Guess what I got? Retro Duo, made by Retrobit. And this is the 3.0 silver and black. I wanted to get the 2.0 that's blue and white, but the but the a person actually, the one I had on my watch list on eBay, some scumbag actually bought it and got his hands on it before I even got a chance of bidding on it and such. So, I went for this. I didn't want to go for the red and black 2.0. And to be honest, red and black is ugly in my opinion. This is actually pretty cool in my opinion. Now, the reason I went for the Retro Duo is because Satoshi Matrix posted in the comment I said I had FC Twin. He said, oh no, get rid of the FC Twin and go for one of these. These are a lot better than those. Well, to be honest, no. They're not better. They're both better in their own ways. Basically, what the FC Twin can't play, this can play. And what the Retro... And what this cannot play is what the FC Twin can play. And what neither can play, maybe the Hyperkin Retron 2 could play. Now, the Retron 2 is basically uh, Hyperkin's answer to this and the FC Twin. But unlike this and the FC Twin, these only have Super Nintendo controller ports. The Retron 2 allows you to use your original Nintendo Entertainment System controllers, which is nice. Now, I should stop talking, and let's take a look at the box before I unbox it. Here you have the picture of the console, and it says you can get the RetroGen adapter, which is sold separately. In the front, you have your... It comes with AC adapter. This has a three-way switch. It comes with AV and S video. Air vents. There's no heat sink. Two controller ports and dual cartridge slots. And I particularly like the box of the 2.0 more because there is a flap that you can lift up and see the console. But that's pretty much it. And on the back it says it saves space and such in different languages. They got German right here. Uh, I don't know what the other language is, but I know one of them is Spanish. Oh, I think one of those Portuguese, but never mind. Here's the information right there. There's a sad onion right here. <laughs> Stuart Ashens always says, How you doing, mate? <laughs> anyway, let's unbox the thing. And right at the top, we got these two Retro Duo controllers. Now, I bought this used on eBay. And to be quite honest, the D-pad is the main issue. The buttons, same with this one. Now the buttons feel really good. Shoulders really good. Select and star are rubber, unlike the FC Twin controller, which is nice. You got the AV cables. If I could just pull them out. And the AC adapter as well. Now unlike the FC Twin, this AC adapter goes in sideways. The FC Twin had like this rectangle that's it go that's I don't have an FC twin anymore but it's shaped like the most charger and the video cables has a uh, your video and the audio but it also has S video unlike the FC twin which does not have S video but my TV does not support S video and last but not least the console itself. The Retro Duo. Now to be honest, I have to say this looks pretty cool. At the front you have two controller ports. The Retro Duo supports regular Super Nintendo controllers. You have your 16-bit and your 8-bit. Flick it up for 8-bit, flick it down for 16-bit. There's going to be a green light for the 8-bit and a red light for the 16-bit. Here's your reset button. Super Nintendo cartridge slot. Unlike the FC Twin, there is no tab system right here, so you can actually stick a Super Famicom game without having to mod the thing. And your Nintendo cartridge slot. You need an adapter to play Famicom games, but you can play some European games. And air vents on the side. The jacks on the back. Here's your AC adapter slot, your S video, regular video, left and right audio. And at the back you have uh, the logo right here and you have four screw holes. There would be a sticker right there but that's broken off. 
So that's my unboxing of the Retro Duo video. Thanks for watching. This is Rika Roxy does one saying, um, between this and the FC Twin, which do you like more? I'm signing off. Have a nice day.